And here's a quick little video on how to perform the calculations in Stat Crunch for the A Fair Coin example. So here we are in Stat Crunch. Let's change that first variable to what we observe. And what do we observe? We observe 612 heads, 388 tails. Expected. This is 500 heads, 500 tails. That's all we actually have to do, except for some button clicking. Stat, goodness of fit, chi-squared test. Observed is going to be the observed column. Now, in this case, we could also do all cells in equal proportion because every cell has the same likelihood of coming up under the null hypothesis. Or we can specify the expected. It'll give us the same answer both ways. And now let's go ahead and select all three of these to display. Wait, how did I get those? Well, the little mouse, uh, the little mouse over says to select more than one, I can do it with a shift click. That is, hold on the shift key and click on, or with the control. If I want to get all three of them, I'll just highlight all three with a shift. Then I'll hit compute. This gives us a sample size. Degrees of freedom is one, which is the number of categories minus one. There's the chi-squared test statistic that we calculated the long way on the website. There's the p-value. Here are the residuals. That's observed minus expected. Standardized residuals is just the square root of that last row in table 5. So if we were to square these, this would be the observed minus the expected squared over the expected. That's it. There's our p-value. Because the p-value is less than alpha of 0.05, we reject an all hypothesis. That is, the distribution in the population does not match what we would expect. And that's it. Really quick, really straightforward. A column of observed, a column of expected, stat, goodness of fit, chi squared, observed, expected, select them all, and compute. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Have fun.